it's Carrie here at Thrive Clinical Studio and we're going to talk about shoulder pain so I want to introduce you to a particular muscle it's this one here it is the infraspinatus it's one of the most important muscles when it comes down to shoulder pain um, when it gets gnarled up you know about it it causes a referral pain pattern down here and it can also come up into the back of your neck uh, it's generally caused when we overuse our arms away from the body. So if you think about all those typing, texting, mouse work, uh, reading, driving, all of those kind of actions where you're using your arms away from your body, when your arms are away for a long time, that infraspinatus has to work really hard and it builds up little trigger points. What happens then is a domino effect where those trigger points in the infraspinatus also cause the other rotator cuff muscles to <laughs> and tighten up. This can lead to something called frozen shoulder. Uh, frozen shoulder is treatable through steroid injections, but really you're way better off getting to the uh, itty nitty gritty of it by getting some work done through those rotator muscles, through the infraspinatus, through your subscapularis and through all those other kind of supporting structures around here. The infraspinatus, if you have stuff going on in it, it's really easy to find it. It's quite a big muscle, as you can see, it covers like that lower triangle of the scapula, which is this bony plate back here. So I'm going to help you find it. And you'll probably see the expression on my face when you see a trigger point, because I know I've got some stuff going on in this side. OK, so you're going to use, let's talk about this left shoulder. It might be right to you, but it's left to me. OK. <laughs> We're going to talk about this shoulder and we're going to work on it with this hand. So when you put your fingers over the top of your shoulder, you hit a bony ridge there, which is the spine of the scapula. Above the spine of the scapula is the supraspinatus and below the spine of the scapula is the infraspinatus, which is the one we want to look at. Although there's always juicy stuff going on up here as well. So when you're in the infraspinatus, if you kind of go midway along it, you can start to find the little knots and you can feel them they can feel quite nubbly like you've almost got raisins or marbles if it's really bad under there so from this side there's the spine oh, that's your classic infraspinatus face oh, I can feel it raining down my back i can feel it kind of coming down into my shoulder it can really, really, really do your head in, but it's super simple to treat. Okay, so you've located the infraspinatus. It's just over the hill, the hill of the spine of the scapula. And then you're going to give it six little rubs. We're working on this in a trigger point style. So we're going to do six little rubs and then you're going to leave it. The great thing about trigger point work is you keep coming back again and again. So whenever your brain thinks about it, like say every time you have a cup of tea whilst you're waiting for the kettle to boil, you just do six little rubs and then that's it and then you come back in a couple of hours later and then you do another six little rubs anywhere which feels tight anywhere which feels tender just give it a little bit of work and you'll be surprised at how quickly that can alter your shoulder stuff now it may not be in every instance of shoulder pain that it's your infraspinatus that's causing the mayhem you do also need to have a look at your subscapularis under your armpit. If you've got a decreased range of mo motion, if after quite a long while you're still not able to get your hand, if you see in the mirror, hand up your back. So that's a classic infraspinatus move. Throwing an overhead ball is another classic infraspinatus. Obviously, typing, texting, mouse work, another classic infraspinatus move. If you're struggling with any of those and it doesn't seem to be getting any better, you do need to go and have a chat with your doctor. But really, as well, you need to get yourself booked in with somebody like a massage therapist, a myofascial therapist, a physiotherapist, someone who can have a really good look at it. We do a lot of infraspinatus work here at Thrive. We know them well and we know the chaos they can cause. So if you feel that there is stuff you have working in your shoulder, which is kind of giving you some itty gritty feelings, give us a call and we can sort something out for you. Take care now. Bye.